Hello, this is Eliyahu from Eliyahu Channel and YouTube and as well as EaglesHavenMinistry.com. Right behind me, which you see, tube of uh, Jehoshaphat. And we're coming live from Jerusalem. Welcome all of the Mishpoka, all the house of, of, of the Gur and the Goy of Israel. We welcome you now to this program. We're going to have, stay tuned to watch this exciting teaching this Shabbat. But as each Shabbat went by, and with great anticipation and excitement, we moved together step to step, studying different topics and studies. And as we move into the Ruach Adosh in preparation for tomorrow, okay, and we, because there's a gate opening, and in this gate, we want to experience that open Shamaim where we're at. And our Nefesh is renewed and, and confirms because of the Torah, the Turat written on the tablets of our lab is our, is our, what I say, our foundation to know that we're hearing his voice and his voice confirming with the word and two or three witnesses. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, we give praise and honor and thanksgiving as we open as we open, open. I, greet, I greet you, Manishma, what's up, Anashim, Mishporka, Bayi Yasharel, Shalom, Yahudim, Mashalom Ha to the men, Mashalom Ka to the women. We greet you all, the Bayi Yasharel, that's feeling alienated, but yet you know you are grafted into the house by Yasharel. Shalom Alinkum and Hag Sameach Shavuot. Everybody. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. We give praise and honor. Hear the Lord. I know you got it. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. You, Father. Hallelujah. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but we do know what's going on. I feel a kindling, a heat of the fire of the Ruach Adosh. Yes. I feel his anointing uh, brewing. Hallelujah. It's like the Father's turning the volume. Yes. He's turning up the volume. He's turning up the ears of our ears, of our inner oh. man and our Ruach. Hallelujah. He's turning us up. He's getting wow. us ready for, for t tomorrow. Woo. Hayom. And more tomorrow that yeah. we can hear his voice and experience the anointing of Shavuot as yes. the father was showing us the revelation man has shot up his, his arrows on the 40th day to try to penetrate and send people up there to some fake it make it uh, space station and they're spending our money in the wrong ways and they're trying to s communicate just like Nimrod and the Tower of Babel trying to reach up but all the time we need to be obedient and he'll reach down to us yes and as we know as this as the secular world reaches up in all their ways through mediums through god and lord trying to do prophetical acts of uh, falsehoods trying to uh, uh do their their own version of their ways and as man develops technology to try to reach into a place that is not of torah that's not the way they they always say maybe someday maybe someday we'll communicate we'll hear back and communicate when they don't realize that we are unique and special and the father has made us the center of of the universe as the torah says and we communicate through him and him only that's how we go through it and we he has built that transmitter and receiver inside every person that's born on this earth he has built it inside us but we need to know how to dial in through torah through the word and the right rules to put our antennas up so to say to create our transmitters and fix our ear gates and unplug the wax and, and all the things from our ears and, and tune yes. in to receive and hear his voice. Yes. And hear his voice. Oh, we want to hear your voice, Saba. Appa. I want you to speak to us Appa. and healing virtue to go through the wavelengths through this frequency into everybody's phone everybody's tablet everybody's computer into their homes 
and healing refreshing to come to their minds and heal their minds stress and pressure to leave their shoulders and their bodies and healing oil liquid oil to come on the top of their head and flow right through their body with light with the light of the word with the light of the name of Yahushua and Yahuwah to go through us and on us in us and saturate us for we are your servants we are your children we are the sheep of your past pastor the green pastors and right now we receive from you from Shamaim hallelujah hallelujah we praise you Abba and thank you so much for this great opportunity to come into everybody's homes and celebrate hallelujah Hag Sameach, the preparation praise Abba Yah hallelujah hallelujah and how many feel his presence in yes, the midst hallelujah. of you hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. praise Yah thank you Father hallelujah. well today this Yom what we're going to do is we're going to go to to Esau and we're going to go to the word let's go to Yo Yoel Job chapter 3 1 or 2 8 because this one uses a different book writings but let's look at it and after this it shall be that I pour my ruach on all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall uh, what is the word Nebuah and your old men shall dream dreams and your young men see visions and also all the male servants and all the female servants shall pour out of my Ruach and those Yamin and I shall give signs in the Shamaim and upon the earth blood, fire and columns of smoke the Shemesh turn into blood and the moon I mean darkness excuse me and the moon into blood before that great and coming and the great and awesome Yom of Yahuwah and it shall be that everyone who calls in the name of Yahuwah shall be saved. For on Mount Zion and in Jerusalem, there shall be an escape. As Yahuwah has said, among the survivors whom Yahuwah calls, according to some messianics, and all, because sometimes there's a present, past, present, and future repeat of a Nebuah, of, from the Nabi'im, Emmet, a word or fulfillment. They say fulfillment of prophecy. So, but uh, they believe when, the, when, when Rome destroyed Jerusalem in 70 AD that the, 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 the Nazirs got a word and read this portion of Yoel and they fled before the Romans came. Almost six months to a year ahead, they fled before the Romans came and came after them and destroyed the city and it's because in Jerusalem there shall be a, an escape as you who has said among the survivors whom you are calls okay and it refers to um, Acts chapter 12, 2 21 but also Roman 10 13 and Yeshua 4 23 and Obad Yahweh in Revelation 14 1 let's, let's explore a little bit okay Let's go to, uh, let's look at uh, Romeim 10, 13. Somebody want to read that one? Romans 10, 13. For everyone who calls on the name of Yahuwah shall be saved. Now, in the Christianity, they would say the word, the name of L-O-R-D, B-L-L, right? So what Christians think, they think that this word is Jesus. Because they call, they say L-O-R-D, Jesus. Sure. Jesus. So they naturally assume that the, the Nabi word of, of Yoel and the Nabi word that's given to here in, in the Romeim is naturally is Jesus because they always use that word in front of his name. And then they use the same word for the Father. But as we know, according to the scriptures, because of the idiom understanding, here it says, whoever calls on the name, it says, they, they 
blocked it out a little bit. Okay. But it's the name of Yahuwah. Just like it's found in Yoel. Just like it's found in Yoel, the name of Yahuwah. It's, it's a direct quotation. How could you quote a word in, in the Brit Kadash? How could you quote a word and then add new words and transliterate when all you have to do is just translate it word for word? In Hebrew, this will be the proper of English translation. And what was the other one? Let's see. Yeshiyahu 4, chapter 4, 2 through 3. Who wants to read that? All right. This is in the ISR again. In that day, the branch of Yahuwah shall be splendid and esteemed. And the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely for the escaped ones of Israel. Okay. And it shall be that he who is left in Zion and he who remains in Jerusalem is called Kodesh, Kodeshim. Right? Or yeah. we use the word uh, the, the, the Kodeshim or Ha Kiroim, called out once, who is written among the living in Jerusalem. So uh, they believe that this happened already. With this, when the, the, the Romans destroyed Jerusalem, and of course we know there's going to be another incident in the future, but it's not quite the same. Okay. Do I believe it was fulfilled? Yes, I do believe it was fulfilled, but I believe that many of the Nebua uh, at times, as the word starting from past from the past, and it has a future or meaning, and it has a future future repeat of a, of that quotation it can reoccur okay how about revelation chapter 14 1 14 1 and i looked and saw a lamb standing on mount sion and with him 144,000, having his father's name written upon their foreheads praise yeah of course the catholics will say that's their <laughs> Right. There are 120 angels times 12. Right. You know what I mean? All right, so that's good. And he saw, he, he sings it from Mount Zion, right? That's what it says here. Now, who wants to read Obadiah verse, chapter 1, verse 17? But on Mount Zion in Jerusalem, there shall be deliverance for those who escape, and, I sh and it shall be Kodesh, and the uh, Baith of Jacob shall possess its own former possessions. All right. So the Father always makes a way of escape for us. I always used to share with our different congregations, and I do it online once in a while. Okay. The, a lot of times in the Christian community, they make all these false claims, and every president is the, is the Antichrist or a false prophet and messiahs. And then, um, and then they say, get ready, and they're ready, and and I always say, okay, if right now the Father were to give you a word, do you have your Bob bag? Bob means bug out bag. Grab a bag and go. Gun, scripture, go. Okay? And so, and most of them say, no, I don't think so. I would have to take an hour to pack up or get ready. All right? And then, the, of course, Ed and Yanel, they just have to start their bug out bag and drive away. <laughs> so we, my wife and I, we do have our bug up bags and we do have our record bag, you know, fireproof bag for records and waterproof bag to go. And we go to sleep with our gas filled up, with, our tanks filled up with gas, uh, you know, because usually that'll take you to the end point and you got to get by foot. So anyways, so I always tell my pe the people, do you, if someone were to call you, say Ed calls you up. And gets on that WeChat and says, the Ruach spoke to me. We have 24 hours to get out of these cities and locations. If you're there, get out now. Or you have 12 hours. Or you have 10 hours. Or you have 5 hours. Right now, uh, we are an hour and uh, I think uh, 20 minutes from the Oklahoma border. And then another two and a half hours from another several other borders. Okay. We're at the edge of north of Dallas, edge of Texas. Dax, how many of you know Texas is 700 miles deep? Eight, 900 miles real wide, but you're deep if you're deep in and you're hours away from hitting another border or hitting the coast. So now, 
And I would tell everybody, we have to be sensitive to hear the voice of the rock. And also sensitive, like that transmitter that the Father gave us that word in the beginning, to hear from him, to receive from him, and know this is his voice, and be ability to say, uh, stage left, we're out of here. You know, it's time to move on and go to this location and buckle down. So the people of Israel have exper experienced that many times. Okay. Of course, Christians say, Armageddon, 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 out of here. I'm rapturing out in Armageddon. So they, they don't have to worry about it. So they can sit quiet and watch TV and eat their pastries, and they're going to be raptured out. So they don't have to worry about it. So, <laughs> and uh, so, but now, so if this past and future tense of a ne nebula, this is going to happen again. But for Israel and the and the people that that the Yehudim that converted to Yahushua as the Mashiach, and everybody here during the outpouring of the Rakadosh that end up converting also to Yahushua, the Yehudi that were scattered and come for the feast of this appointed time. Their sons or them have to come and bring their offering at this high Sabbath, this appointed time, the beginning and the end, or stay for the whole 50 yamin, all right, of the seven weeks. And they get filled with the Rekadosh, and, and, and there's converts and Greeks and Persians, they name all the list, and they go back to their nations under the anointing and knowing that the Mashiach has come. And they are getting revelation of the word that there was no brick Kadasha, no New Testament ex existed. All they had to use, they had to know their Tanakh to convert another Yehudim to, to Torah understanding of the Mashiach has come. So, and they get a word, leave, here, go, there, blah, blah, blah. There was a community in, 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 in Russia. There was a community in Russia. They were, they were white Russians. They call them white Russian because they were under the, the Khazar movement. And, and so they, uh, before the Red Army, as the Red Army of Russian communism was rising up, that this little boy stood up and the Ruach Kadosh gave him a word. These people kept the Shabbat and the Torah, but they were Christians. But they kept the Shabbat and the Torah. Okay? So we would liken them to Messianic. And the boy stood up and gave a word and then went to the board that they used to do teaching on. And the little boy that was like 11, 12 years old, they call him the boy Nebuah, not prophet, the boy Nebuah. And he drew a map of where to go, three places to leave. And they had one year to prepare and leave. Okay? And, and he sat down. First of all, they had two choices. They felt the Ruach and confirmed that this was the anointing of Yahuwah with confirmation and know the feeling of the Ruach. Or some questioned and doubted. Or some thought he had a demon. The devil. He was lying to him. They've been in that area for 800, 900 years. Their generations of their family have passed from children to children to children. Their lands, their inheritance, similar to the Yudin traditions of Leviticus. If a brother died and his wife did not leave no children, he would take his brother's wife and give seed unto her, like they did in the old hundred years ago in Mexico. They did the same thing in Mexico now. And you know, what we were talking about in the story of Ruth. And they, they did that at that time, even though they were Nazarene, Yehudi, they did the same. The bloodline was rich. There was thousands of people in this settlement of this valley, surrounded by mountains. And then the boy gave the word another month. You said you got 11 months. Gave a word another month. And by the 10th month, they all figured out on the map where to go. And they had several locations to flee. And what they did, the ones that believed it, they divided their family up. So if you got 100, 200 members of your family, some 30, 40 went to, went to England, some 30, 40 went to U.S., some 30, 40 went, they went to Italy, they went to different states, some went to Israel, okay? 
went to different countries, to the five countries the boys said on the map, all right? Then they started to sell their inheritance, and that's when they knew. Because, see, for us in America that don't own land, don't have estates, you didn't get it from your father and your grandfather and your great-great-great-grandfather. It's a different story. We just got apartments. We got a piece of lot. We park our trailer, a motorhome. We got a place to park our tent. We have a, a house. We still owe our mortgage, which is linked to banksters that are connected to the Vatican. And you pay taxes back to the Vatican through all those taxes of chain command. Great Britain, Rothschilds, and then the Vatican, because the Rothschilds are the keeper of the Bank of Rome, of Italy. So all that money link goes back to the Vatican. So you don't own your land. And if you say you do, try not to pay the taxes, and they'll come and take it away. Okay? So it's so, the, the, when you pay it off and you pay taxes, that's just your continuous lease of renting. Cheaper, you know, a couple few hundred or a thousand to be out of location per year, a lot cheaper than paying rent or monthly things. So anyways, so they had a choice and everybody thought it was crazy. And the families that didn't go to that place of Sheba, the shul of fellowship uh, during Shabbat, because they worshiped on Shabbat, that they ended up, the ones that went to different, because some of the community were Catholics, some were Protestants, some were different of this big family, okay? They knew that the communists were rising up, the Red Army, just like what was going to happen in China and, and Korea and stuff like that. They knew, but they never thought it would reach them over there, okay? It's like living in Texas. You never think that the, the, what's going on in California will reach over here. It's got to go through a couple of states to get to us over here. You know what I mean? You'll never think it'll come over here. You have to come through a, a million guns because they say the average family in a house has – Eight to 15 guns in a house and rifles and, and crossbows. You know what I mean? And so just in my house, I don't want to tell you what we got. You know, the thing we haven't got yet is the crossbows. But we, my wife and I got to take time and, and, and go out and practice. So, and so they gave up their inheritance and put it for sale. And they started their journey. And there was no planes. It went by train. And it went by boats. Steams and sailboats or some were sport boats in 1800, the late 1800, not to early, uh, excuse me, it was early 1900 during the communist rise, rising up. And uh, they, and there are still steam motorized ships that had some sails connected to it. Some of them had that. When they ran out of coal, they would burn everything they could burn. They still put sails up. It'd be real slow, but they still did it. Now, the, the person has a book out concerning his journey and the boy Nebuah. And his name is Demas Shikarian. He's the founder, and I don't want to say the pagan word, of the full gospel association. I went all over the earth at one time, a very powerful businessman association. The Demas family kept the Shabbat and believed in the Ten Commandments. And I heard him speak personally, and he would say that. We are believe that we're messianics, we believe that we're Nazirs, Nazarenes, and we keep the Shabbat, and we believe in the Ten Commandments. But he didn't practice the names and everything now like we do because that wasn't fulfillment yet of, of Ezekiel chapter 4. It's not fulfilled yet, okay, of the 2,730 years that comes to the year of 1996 and 97 uh, of that fulfillment of Ezekiel of the nations of Israel, okay? opening their eyes and stop calling on Baal and Lord and call, calling on Yahuwah. All right, so now, and he has a great book, a small paperback and all a big book of what took place and how the father made a way of escape. Now, when the Russians finally took over, it took another year, another year to come into their village or colony and wipe them out. And the Shakaran families and their family of that Russian, not a man, woman, and child survived. All the people that received the money and the extra goods and extra furniture, extra, extra, extra lands of inheritance, when the others sold it and left, 
it was all gone, disappeared. But did you know now the Shikarians could go back to Russia because Russia's not communist no more? Because Putin, they're not communist. They don't support a communist flag. Uh, uh, even though to popular fake CNN news calling Russia a communist, and they're not. They have a different flag. They're, they're, they're Orthodox Catholics now and everything else. If you're from the Shikarian family or that big ancestry, they can go back there and get their land back. Just like Israel can go back and get their land back by inheritance according to their tribe, even though they were dispersed through the Babylonian dispersion, the Greek dispersion, Roman dispersion, they can go back later and get land back. Some have to buy, pay taxes because whoever's the landlord, but they can get their land back, okay? So, so I, just, I just felt led to share that story because the Ruach Kadosh could speak to us through a dream, vision, and revelation to tell us to get out of a certain area, to go to another temporary area, to leave that area, to go to another temporary area, almost like the Anel and Ed, the Father speaks to them to move to another state, another location, another state, another location. And when they get there, the, they're subject for, to get another phone call of the Ruach to go to another location. Ain't that right, Ed? That is true. <laughs> It's exactly right. Okay. We don't really know where we're going in advance. He just says, now leave, and I'll tell you on the way. That's right. That's happened more often than anything else. <laughs> Sometimes we, we think we know, but he says, no, just wait. <laughs> wait, till I, wait till I reveal it to you. Hallelujah. And in verse in 10, 13, as we see here, is that, for everyone who calls on the name of Yahuwah. Three times in the Brit Kanash, they call the New Testament, they use they think that word L or D underneath it is Jesus, but it's really Krios. It's the Greek word for the highest, highest up of a mighty one, which we know that in Hebrew is Yahuwah. Okay, it's not a low level, it's highest one in the Greek pagan words of pecking orders. So Three times they, they think, well, I just have to call on Jay, man, on Jesus, and he will take me, and he will protect me. Come on, man. You've got the name right. And you're going to call L-O-R-D, Jay, man, you really don't got a phone number. You're going to pull out your cell phone, and it doesn't got batteries. <laughs> you're pulling out, you, you're trying to pull out a Yahoo, Yahushua cell phone, and you pull out a cell phone with no batteries. You don't even got the frequency dialed in. You got the wrong GPS. You got the wrong everything, <laughs> and you you're, you're in the you're in the dimension of the of the Earth system instead of the Shamaim system to hear from Shamaim, and we're back in that circle of the anointing of open gates of Shamaim to bring down His anointing of the Shamaim upon us, and we hearing His voice and operating and flowing. Hallelujah! Praise Yahuwah. Let's Hallelujah. go back. Any input or questions? Yeah, one point, and that's literally what you're just addressing right now. When you look at Ephesians 2, 6, we're already there in Shamayim with the Messiah and the Father. Yes, if, we got the, if we're plugged in, right? Yeah. So there's no reason why anybody would think that if, if you're in Shamayim, you would hear his voice, but you can't hear it when you're here on the earth. Huh. Correct. Of course, they say heaven. Yeah, but it, that's a different address. As, as we that's a different heard. address. Anybody have any questions of the difference from Shamayim? There are, there are a certain few words in Scripture where when they speak of, of, of the heavens, they literally mean the heavens. Yeah, when they say the heaven, heaven, the third heaven, they're talking about the Shamayim. For example, when, when you talk about uh, Satan being thrown out, he's being thrown out of the heavens to the earth. Because he's no longer, he hasn't been in Shamayim for, for, for ten, since he was thrown out, out of that area. But he still dwells in the principality of the clouds. Yeah, that'd that be the throne. heaven or the realm of the spirit, sure. Right, he's still in the clouds, okay? In the air, uh, they, uh, in the air. Uh, yeah, I mean the, the the those authorities and the, and uh, they in the high places in the air. Correct. The prince of the air, something like that. And see, I told you guys once this before. I'm not going to get into a detail. 
There's a whole group, and it turns out the woman that discovered it speaks Yahuwah and Yoshua. And a lot of the followers are Yahuwah and Yoshua, as well as Christians in the Christian community. Okay? They, they, get, they, they order online. They teach you on their website how to order online of these lens. They look like a dome glass. So you take a, like you take a sphere of glass, a crystal glass, you cut it in half, and it's really a lens. And they use it to use for telescopes. They use it for microscopic stuff or other equipment. You can make one out of a broken telescope. There's little small ones, maybe five inches, four inches, three inches, six inches. But they show you how to buy one that's 10 to 12 inches wide or 16 inches wide. And they put it on a black cloth. They sit it outside. And then they take a tripod with a camera. And they plug the camera with it into a, a USB into your com, uh, computer or into your your um, widescreen TV. Okay, so you can see it better in a widescreen instead of looking through a lens of a of a modern digital camera. And they point the camera into the lens that's reflecting from the sky. So you're pointing down into this sphere crystal of a piece of glass like a lens or like an eyeball. And so you point it down, and when you point it down, you see different things. You see a city, you see things flying around. Then you look up and you see nothing. Then you look back down on your camera and you see something, right? And what it does, it breaks the dimension of the spirit realm, of the spectrum of light that our eyes are blinded to. Because at one time before the flood, our eyes had a different spectrum of frequency, and we can see the enemy coming. We can see the fallen ones. We can see his servants. We can see evil. We can see a person walk up to us before the flood and see the demons all like around them, like flies on poop, hoovering around them. Okay? So, and after the flood, our eyes were changed. The Father changed it, changed us. Okay? So, and if you want to get into that, you can get into it. I've gone into it, and I really don't like to look at it because there's a lot of stuff I see up there. Once in a while, I'm traveling to the desert or open, and I see clouds, and I'm praying and interceding, and I see wickedness forms ahead of me, and it stays there because we know that clouds through the current don't last more than a few hours. But when you're traveling and it stays there for hours and hours, you know you're dealing with principalities of the air the powers and the rules of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places. Okay, so and so people are doing this and they, they're teaching each other, we need to pray, we need to intercede, look at this, look at that, look what's forming over this, this, the city of Florida or the this capital of this and then all of a sudden now there's riotings. Look what's going on throughout the, the earth right now. Look what George Soros has done in the checkmate and bringing these these hidden agenda groups of not only Black Lives Matters, but other organizations to cause rioting through all the cities because the dumb and dumber are bored. They, most of them don't even got masks and they're wearing masks and just to cover them from that, got to get busted from their looting and destruction. There's even footage of one girl discovered this woman dressed like a man breaking up windows and she said, I know who you are. You're a, you're a Minneapolis police officer. Look at everybody. This is a cop just causing the chaos. And we're not trying to destroy the buildings. They got footage of that now. That the, even the cops are being paid to do this chaos to cause more. You know, you get, you get bonus pay and all that. So, and it's part of the George Soros link. And that meant we need to pray in the Shem of Yahushua that the Father was sent international police, international sheriffs, international somebody to arrest this man and shut him and his link of all the money to what he's causing all over the earth. And the people were marching peacefully because of that young man that got killed. But now the chaos has come in and mingled and mixed into, the, into, the, into a peaceful march in making it a chaos march and causing all kinds of problems. And this is a part of the global agenda to cause a thorn or a problem, a stumbling block. So 
We bind that spirit in these cities right now. We bind those strongholds of demonic powers influencing right now, and we break the money trail to each of them. In the Shem of Yoshua, we cut off the money trail. We cut off the ones that are getting paid to instigate. We command them to be exposed as somebody pulling their skirt from under them and bother to be exposed, and they will be arrested as the ringleaders connected to George Soros and the Global Agenda 21, and they would be put out and stopped. We command this chaos to stop. The, the police officers are being arrested for their hideous crime against an innocent man, and there's no reason to continue on. If they're arrested, now they need a peaceful march to make the courts take over. And this continuous chaos, we re rebuke, bind, crush it, and destroy it from the principalities in the air that up there above them in the clouds and shooting darts of anger, darts of racism, darts, fiery darts, fiery darts on people to cause them to devour each other and destroy simple people's property, entrepreneurs. Some are believers that prayed and sacrificed to open up businesses and they're barely getting started and they're being destroyed. It's bad enough it was destroyed because of the pandemic, but now the physical property is being destroyed. And Father, come to these people that are crying out in prayer. We agree with them, and we stop this spirit of chaos, the spirit of judgment in this form. Yes, judgment must start at the head, at the house of each capital building, that pagan word, capital heel, which is the, the building of the pagan worship, and they must be, the judgment must come there first and strike it up, Father, in the Shem of Yeshua and expose them all, and we bind the demonic powers. We bind the strongholds of the enemy operating, shooting those darts, and we say, because we in this room, by the sound of our voice, we have the dominion anointed authority of the name of Yahuwah and the name of Yahushua. And he's not just the word we memorized and spoke. We know it. I feel the anointing upon you all in the Shem of Yahushua. And we speak the name of Yahuwah to go out into these cities, into the city halls, into areas of the, of the districts where the rioting is going on. And we speak Shalom. Amen. Speak shalom. Hallelujah. Amen. We speak shalom. Yes. We speak shalom to the four corners and we command it to come off. Hallelujah. It's hate, anger, jealousy, vengeance, everything. Shalom. We speak shalom. So that the basura can go out into all four corners. Hallelujah. We speak it. We speak it. We speak it now. We put conviction of these young people that never do this. One stirred up another, they stirred up another, then they started looting. So, Father, we, we pray that this will be dispersed, it'll be shut down, and we pray shalom. We speak that right now. We speak dominion authority into the atmosphere. And right now in our rooms, right now in our house, we rebuke, bind, crush, and remove everything. Everything out the house that is not Kodeshim of you. That is not Tomadim. That is not set apart. And by our rooms and our location where we're at, as we prepare it for Shavuot tomorrow, we prepare it now. We prepare it now. Because pretty soon, as evening comes and we enter into the evening of Shavuot, and it enters. We want our vessels, our mind, our, our place of dwelling to be prepared for open windows of Shabbatim to come down and fill us with his Ruach. Abba, many of these people here by the sound of my voice, you're, you're going to anoint them with gifts of the Ruach Adosh, mighty gifts, gifts of weapons of the future, Weapons of the future to fight off the enemy of present and future. And every and open our eyes as Eliyahu and Eli, Eli, Elisha were standing over the, over the garrison walls and said, 
there are more on our side than on their side. And Father, we pray that you open our eyes and give us that discernment that when we look up above, we don't have to look through some class with a camera of reverse technology of taking the veil of the blinders off, that the blinders will come off that was put down after Noah entered the boat and we landed and they produced a new seed and their eyes were opened up different. Their eyes were changed. Hallelujah. 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 We pray this right now, Father. Mm. Oh, I don't know, man. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but there's something I feel, you know, you feel the anointing. There's different type of, of the seven ruachs of Yahuwah. There's a warring mantle being stored up for us to come out. There's an anointing of shalom, but yet there's mm. something being prepared for us this evening and tomorrow. And we're going to stand for that presence and the gifts. And just We just want to say, Yahuwah, you are the distributor, Yahruach. Look inside me. Say this with me if the best you can. Look inside me. Search me, O oh Yahuwah. Search me. Search my inner being like David said. Oh my God. Search my inner being. Oh Yahuwah. See if there be any wicked way in me. Yes. Lead me in the way of everlasting. Search us. Search us. Search us and know us. Turn up the heat. Get the dross out of that golden, that bowl, refining us as the precious gold. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the gold that's in Shamani. We ask you to transfer the deposit in Shamanim from all our trials. Transfer that, that deposit and bring down the white garments and the white raiment of fire to supernaturally protect us. Not only in the now, but in the future and the end times. White raiment a fire to clothe us. Now search us and prepare the distribution. The distribution. Have your malakims take those gifts and get them ready to be dispatched to our presence. The open gate. It's going to be open from this evening on tomorrow. And even now, as we feel the anointing in our room, in our place of dwelling, to, to, to prepare us to be unwrap these gifts as your messengers come into our presence and hand them to us through liquid oil, from the rosh of the crown of our head all the way down to our lab and our nefesh to the palms of the hands our brother that is ill and his position laying on his bed right now listening to our voice we spiritually lay hands on him yes. and we ask for healing virtue to go through the frequencies as the enemy travels to the prince of the air of evil mm -hmm. the Ruach Kadosh takes us into his house into his room and as our hand gets hot in the palm we stretch it towards him and we pray healing virtue to go through his body and every nerve every muscle every fiber every bone Everything that's been shriveled up and can't be used no more will be resurrected and healed in creative healing to start the creative healing in my brother in the Shem of Yahushua. Creative healing to put everything up, snap back to its place 
in the yes. shem of Yahushua. That would be according to your word. We stretch it towards him. We stretch towards him right now as we agree that in Shabbat and we agree in High Shabbat is the, the gate of miracles, healing, signs, and wonders during this time. Because even Shabbat, there's a gate for healing. And then the High Shabbat, there's a gate for healing. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Hallelujah. We You're praise better. you. I don't know about you, but I'm more excited than a little boy that used to sit by sit by a Christmas tree and want to unwrap some pagan gift. I'm more excited. I'm more excited. I'm more excited. I'm I'm sitting on the feet. I'm sitting on the feet of the Shabbat of Yahushua, and I want to unwrap my gifts. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Father. I'm so excited. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I have anticipation. I have excitement. I have expectancy. And I speak that yes. ruach of expectancy on every one yes. of you right now. Yes. A ruach I'm of well, expectancy. I what I have and what I, I feel. It. And that emunah to come upon you. The emunah of expectancy to shadow you, to envelope you, and to anoint you in the sham of your Hallelujah. 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 Praise Yah. Thank you. Praise Yah. Praise you. Anybody else has a, a word, a question? I know it's hard. After, I, I can't I don't even know what to say. I'm drunk in the Hurak. I got drunk early. <laughs> I'm a day early drunk. Oh, mean. Oh, mean. I know many, I know many of you too. Yes. Getting on this, this line, on this conference line, are going to go to a mikvah tomorrow. Yes. I don't know if all of you are, but I know many of you are, including ourselves. And so what Yahoo is showing me is literally expect a tangible experience when you go through this. Yes. More than expectation. You, you literally are going to experience a movement of Yahuwah's light within your spirits. It'll move from your spirit into and over your actual soul. And so, expect it. Oh, wow. Hallelujah. 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 This is Hallelujah. directly to, to the motive Hallelujah. and the desires of the heart. This is not some theatrical expression. The movement of, of Yahuwah's light within you, it can be very subtle or it can be an explosion. And when you feel the, not feel, but when you experience that explosion, you know it and you never want it to stop. Right. As long as you, as long as your hearts remain fixated, not focused, but fixated on Yahuwah, <clears throat> then when it starts to explode, just pray that it continue because he'll he'll show you more and more and more and more things with each and every explosion, and it's it's unreal. Once it once it begins, it is, there's nothing else like it, and you can never ever ever go back to what it was like yesterday. In other words, to the life that you used to lead. I mean, some of, us, some of us will be in such a way where you're, you're, you're literally your past won't recognize your future. That's actually for all of us here. Yes. And. Wow. Uh, when when it when this when his light is begins to explode, it's, it's not just a feeling. Uh, really, it's an experience. And you guys will love you'll love it when when it actually happens to you. I mean. And also, uh, today, I just now I actually have the anointing ori for Ed and myself while we are begins with the mid, uh, after the prayer. I think whoever have any oil or live oil, and we need to anoint ourselves too. To now and tomorrow. 
start the I anointing process. Yes. All I have is olive oil. Is that okay? Yeah. I drink some sweet wine now. <laughs> you feel like what? <laughs> like I, I drink some sweet wine. You felt like it. You felt like, yeah, I do too. I feel it too. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. My words. Praise God. Hallelujah. And it's no Kunalini. It is no Howard Brown. Bark like a dog. I don't hear nobody barking like a dog on the other line. <laughs> this is the real Rokadosh. Amen. Hey, you. And I say, for as long as the heir, heir is a child, he is no different than a, from a slave, though he is a master of all, but is under guardians and trustees to the time prearranged by the father. Oh, you hear that? That's powerful. We were under trustees called pastors and shepherds, but they didn't do a good job. They nope. gave us junk. They gave us McDonald's Jack in the Box food. <laughs> they didn't give us real manna. And under those gardens and trustees till the time prearranged by the Father. And what's the prearranged time? Now. Now is the prearranged time. Right. Here we go. Hallelujah. 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 So we also, when we were children, were under ele elementary matters of this system. Remember I told you the word world is only about thousand years old it would be age if you look it up in greek it would be the time of the age of whatever's going on being enslaved so we were in elementary forms of christianity and other religions and belief systems trying to reach up to Abba father the google gaga make it to make names and words of the harlot daughters trick names of their trick pimps okay and beings enslaved in that but when the completion of the time came aloha sent forth his son born of a woman born under torah or torah to redeem those who were under torah in order to receive the adoption as sons and because you are sons and daughters Aloha has sent forth the Ruach of his son into our lab, crying, Abba, Father, Abba, Father, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son, a daughter. And if a son, also an heir of Aloha through the Mashiach. And right now with your hands, just symbolically take off the shackles and chains spiritually of all those pagan false doctrines of demons and Christianity and religions and all the prince of the air stuff. Take off those chains symbolically and take it off from your legs and your ankles, from your waist and your neck and from all the chains and the way they chain people up and imprison people. We cast it out into the fire to be consumed and we free ourselves to be prepared to receive yes. whatever the father has as sons and daughters of Hallelujah. aloha sons and daughters of aloha hallelujah hallelujah we praise you and adore you we praise you hallelujah thank you father Hamashiach, Hallelujah. We, we adore you. You are Father, Abba. Abba, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm gonna stop there. I can't go further, and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and let my wife lead us into a wonderful time of uh, of worship and enter in to his presence. Because we know there is no distance with you, Abaya. 
Beispiel. Thank you so much. We give you praise and honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bask it in his presence. Hallelujah. We bask it in his presence. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. We praise you. We honor you. We magnify you. Is there anybody that needs prayer? As we, uh, I know they usually start when I shut off. You need prayer. But is there anybody that needs prayer? Yeah, brother, it's Kamaya. Um, well, we pray, me and Anaya, uh, we pray all the time about the Kim trailing here. It is it is out of control here. So no out of control. Are you serious? <laughs> it's, I mean, it's way out of control. Um, I mean, it rains. Like last week, I think it rained here too, like, like five, six days straight, like pouring rain. Um, and Anaya, he can't even mow the grass without feeling irritation. My allergies flared up so bad that, so I've been getting shots, which I don't want, but I've been short of breath. Um, anytime I'm outside, my allergies are just constantly flaring up, but we've been in prayer about it because I'm sure it's linked to all the stuff with the Kim, Kim trailing. I want to thank you too, Eliyahu, for praying about, uh, earlier you were praying about the gifts. Um, and you know, Yahuwah arises and his enemies are scattered, but there's gifts within all of us and, and Yah is going to cause those gifts to arise in such greatness for the latter days and for the latter rain that's going to be poured out upon the earth. So I know that was of Yahuwah, you uh, praying about the gifts within us. And the gifts arising, and Yahuwah arising Amen. and speaking Amen. through us in this time to our our friends, families, and co-workers. And we just give Him thanks for that in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Father, I just we just stand in agreement. We stretch our hands towards uh, my brother and sister, and you will uh, protect them. They have to breathe this stuff. They have to filter it out of their bodies. They have to come complete cleansing, Father. And, and they're crying out because it's too much. It's just too much to to handle. And I pray, Father, in the Shem of Yeshua, that you give them an immune system of fire, that you give them a total immune system of fire, of protection, Father. We pray this right now, an immune system of fire to go upon them, to, to saturate them, 
to fill them up and to saturate them completely. We pray this, Father, right now. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. We ask this, Father, saturate them, cover them, give them an immune system in their lungs, in their sinus region to be yes. flushed. Hallelujah. Father, because they're yes. in a place they need to be to minister to the family. They have a ministry there in the upper room, and they need to be there to reach out to so many people. Put the white raiment of fire all around them in the midst of, of that spray in the midst of the chemicals they're doing, and it will not have an effect on their clothes, on their body, or on them. In the Shem of Yeshua, we stand in agreement even now. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 All right, everybody. I'm yeah. gonna say yeah. bye to you. Bye. We say bye. Bye, Kim. Everybody. Bye, love, Colin. Love you all. We'll see you Shalom. 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 Shalom.